Bible when we perform, I need a deposit. I'm on the stage dancing with a rocket. I've been balling, might get signed to the rockets. I had to pull the plug out the socket. But nah, man, look. <laughs> uh, but for real though, man, look, check it out. So you see a lot of the things that's going on right now in society, right? This Cardi B Ghost Rider situation, I'm finna talk about that. I see y'all in the comment section saying shit like, oh, um, talk about Cardi B's Ghost Rider. Bro, y'all not paying attention. I got a whole nother channel called what, College 19 and College Night, bro. But you niggas ain't keeping up on that shit. But I'm just going to say this, man. You said that, you know, I predicted this months ago. Bro, it's not just that. The shit is predictable, man. She's not fit for that role that she playing. What you realize about this industry and really this world, if somebody gives you a role, it's like people that get positions in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to use these type of analogies, analogies, but let's say a nigga's supposed to be like, you know, the big homie of the block or, you know, the nigga that surveys certain services in the hood to where, you know, you, you overseeing motherfuckers. It's a nigga that probably, you know, um, get emotionally imbalanced and he just go off on some shit, you feel me? And he just fuck up the whole operation. That type of shit. Or you have a person like, let's say, a corporate environment to where they put you in charge of a certain project and you get stressed out easily. So in executing the, pro in, ah, in executing the, the task, you become irritated and it just totally collapses. You feel me? So when you got Cardi B playing a role to indoctrinate young black women into continuing this um this quote unquote freedom aspect of American culture, which is really just freedom is you know whole lifestyle or whole is life. Her promoting that, she's failing miserably in her execution because they're trying to promote her outside of just the urban community because that's already fucked up. <laughs> They already got that shit down packed, nigga. You did your job. Look, Kim, you did your job. You know what I'm saying? Now we got Cardi B. We're trying to influence these white girls. Miley Cyrus, she tried to switch over back to country. You seen her fucking album flop. You feel me? They wasn't the white people wasn't going for that shit. They like, look, you just got holed out by the industry. You in uh, a fucking pizza costume. This pizza gate shit come out. You in a pizza costume. You feel me? Bro, we not fucking with you. Flop. You feel me? So now they need some something else. They get this white Latino who is basically an industry plant, and they put her out there, out there like that. But with this ghostwriter situation, you got individuals that's still defending this in large amounts. You got the people that care about the quote-unquote culture that, you know, are against it, but you got people that support it. Like, look, who cares? Beyonce got one. Rihanna got one. Bro, those some motherfucking singers, bro. We talking about rap. We talking about hip-hop, bro. How can we know that you feel that way about your ex if you didn't write the shit? You know what I'm saying? It's a whole nigga writing that shit. Talking about his ex. But you supposed to be your feeling. Come on now, bro. But other than that, that's not the only thing. This is a culture that um, defends clown shit. They don't want you to call out clown shit. And I'm finna give y'all another example, bro. I don't really talk about DJ Hamster Demix like that a lot, you feel me? But I try not to mention him because he's so much of a fucking cancer that I've been trying to tell y'all niggas for damn near two years to where this shit finally comes out. And now y'all like, oh, damn. Yeah, this is what y'all created. This is what y'all supported for so many years, bro. This nigga is on. Um, he's finna shoot a fucking video. He got fake face tattoos, you feel me? Of all type of bullshit. He got fake dreads in his head. Finna shoot a, a video for his mumble rap mixtape that he dropping, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this is what y'all taking seriously, bro. This is what y'all did, man. This nigga wants to be just like the rest of you dumb motherfuckers. He a clown just like y'all. So this is why clown shit is supported, man. And they don't want you to call him out. I see a lot of people liking the shit, tagging me in it. Bro, check it out, man. That's a representation of what the future will be. If nobody calls out clown shit and they get mad at you and call you a quote-unquote old head, call you a quote-unquote hater, they call you every fucking name in the book, you feel me? To try to defend this shit. Well, what will you see? You got people that, you know what I'm saying, you misogynist or, you know, things like that whenever you call something out. 
But we we shall see what the I don't even gotta see, bro. I don't have to see what the future will be because it's predictable, bro. It's been done before, my nigga. Like what the fuck? People act like they doing something new. It's the same fucking story ever, every motherfucking time, every time. So what am I supposed to act like this shit's supposed to be different this go around? I'm supposed to just go along with the ride or pretend it like, oh, okay, okay, this is something new, yeah. Nah, it's not. Same fucking outcome every time. Clown shit, goofy shit ends in the same fucking result every fucking time, bro. And the government loves it. Oh, they love it. They love it without a shadow of a doubt. I can go into deeper detail about, you know, just how, you know, they have programmed society like that. But, you know, I've done that in several videos. Oh, and let me also mention this, man. When I made my video on College 19 about going away and leaving YouTube. Hey, bro, Moojin 11122. Bro, talking about killing itself if I stop doing videos. Bro, chill the fuck out, man. Chill the fuck out, bro. And I'm finna tell you something. If that's how you feel about this, bro, start making videos. Start using your voice as a fucking weapon. If you want to go out with a bang, at least go out like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? At least go out with a purpose. What's the point of reincarnating by killing yourself and ending up in a worse situation than you in now? Why? And having your, your memory erased. What's the point of that? There is no fucking point. It's dumb, you feel me? It's not cool. End up in third world Brazil where it's all type of crazy shit going on. You end up in Nigeria where they chopping niggas' hands off for taking a, a grain of rice and shit. You feel me? You, come on now, bro. <laughs> come on now, my nigga. You got to use your voice as a weapon. If you don't like what's going on out here, speak out against it. If you're going to conform and be content with society and grow old, then don't say nothing and just slowly make your escape. You feel me? Slowly make your escape from this society. Lame as hell. But nah, man, that is not the way to go. Hate seeing comments like that. Because I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way. Don't ever get attached to me to the point to where you want to get rid of yourself. You feel me? Don't ever do that, bro. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That shit crazy. But yeah, man, I want y'all comments on this situation, bro. The agendas that they pushing, you know, that the gatekeeper, you feel me, DJ Hamster Demi. It's like I told y'all, do I have to go on a rant about this? As many videos that I've done on it in the past to where a bunch of his chat niggas came in the comment section hating on me, bro. Disliking the fuck out of my videos. Coming in the comment section saying all type of dumb shit supporting, dude. Where you niggas at now? Who remember the videos when I used to say, where you niggas at now? Every time he did something, bro. To show that he's a fucking cancer in this quote unquote culture of hip hop. Niggas disappear like a motherfucker. A majority of you motherfuckers is my fans now, bro. My subs. You feel me? Clown ass shit, bro. Shit crazy. But you know, like I told Domus Live, good burger eating ass. I know you watch my videos, nigga. You ain't got a comment. But um, like I told him, bro, just stay down, bro. Stay down, keep grinding, bro, cause that nigga gonna self destruct, I'm telling you. And all of these other ones that's grinding out here, eyeball all them niggas, man. They gonna find their way, you feel me? They gonna find their way to get, oh, say cheese as well, you feel me? But he's a different lane. He don't, he internet way, you feel me? But, yeah, man, I ain't really got much to talk about. I really, really don't. I could talk about, you know, deeper things like spirituality and stuff like that. But I don't feel like sharing it with y'all, because I be seeing y'all comments, a lot of y'all don't get it, man. A lot of y'all not reading books, man. I can tell a lot of y'all not reading books, because the comments that y'all leave, and y'all just don't be catching on to the way I move on here, bro, it's strategic. A few have broken dreams. You a smart motherfucker, bro. You a smart motherfucker, man. <laughs> I say that, bro. You smart as hell, man. You pay attention, man. The rest of these motherfuckers, I ain't going to down y'all intelligence, but... Y'all got to be more sharp and aware, man. These things are done for a reason, bro. These things are done for a reason, man. So, yeah. With that being said, like, comment, dislike, gang in the motherfucking house. I'm gone. Peace.